Hello, my name is Granny B, and these are my friends. This is Peaches, she's a unicorn. And here's Coco, a floppy eared rabbit who loves scarves. She has a nice one on today. We also love stories. We love to have them read to us. So I thought today I would read a story for everybody. And you're included, and I hope you enjoy it. It's a small story, short, but it's my first one. We'll be doing more. Okay. The name of the book is There's a Bear on My Chair by Ross Collins. There's a bear on my chair. There's a little a uh, little mouse, and that's his chair with the bear sitting on. He is so big, it's hard to share. There isn't any room to spare. We do not make a happy pair. A mouse and bear with just one chair. <laughs> he's, he's trying to get him off. Not, he's too big. When I give him a nasty glare, he seems completely unaware. I don't know what he's doing there, that bear who's sitting on my chair. Well, looks like he's reading the paper. I must admit he has some flair. He has fine taste in leisure wear. I'm fond of how he does his hair, but still, I wish he was not there. That's a fancy hairdo. Forgot Coco. I'll try to tempt him with a pair to lure him from my favorite chair, but he just goes on sitting there. Why won't he go back to his lair? Just sit and sit. Maybe I'll give him a scare. I'll jump out in my underwear. But no, of course, he does not care. That stinky bear sat on my chair. <laughs> the little mouse in his underwear. And the bear. I understand that bears are rare. I know they need the utmost care. I know all that, I am aware, but still I cannot stand this bear. This is sad. Oh. That's it, I'm done, I do declare. This bear has led me to despair. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm going now. I don't know where. <laughs> the bear thinks it's funny. Oh! What happened? The mouse is gone. So the bear went looking for him, up to his igloo, his lair, his home. Hey, there's a mouse in my house. Uh, that's where the mouse went to. He went to the bear's house and got on his bed. 
He's going to take a nap. <laughs> the end. So, that was a short story. I think they could have worked things out if they had tried a little harder. What do you think? So, I hope you liked my story. And if you did, there's a little like button that you can click on so I know that you've been here. Also, if you'd like to see more videos, stories that I read, uh, hit the subscribe button it's right down there. Hit that. And then also the little bell, and that will let you know whenever I'm having a new story. And you can come and watch it. So that's it for today. So cocoa and peaches. Oh, have you noticed that Peach's horn is crooked? That's okay. She's fine, just the way she is. Just like you are. Always remember to be happy and also to be kind and love each other. Just like we do. Thank you for being here.